Today topic is recommendation system and we are going to discuss matrix factorization algorithm. So in my previous video we have already discussed different kind of algorithms for the recommendation system. We discussed what is the content based recommendation system, we discussed what is the probability based, we discussed also the collaborative factor in inside that we discuss the item based collaborative factor and that the user based collaborative factors. But as we discuss all those algorithms we are not very sufficient and those are very memory intensive. Okay. So, today uh, topic is matrix factorization and this is the best algorithm and it has been proven already and many companies uh, today they are using this uh, factor vector, um, matrix factorization. Okay. So, let us start. In matrix factorization what you used to do we make one matrix where in the row side I use all the user information and in the rows we will keep all the item ratings. Okay. So, suppose I have the user m and number of items is the n. So, we will have the m into n matrix. right? But this matrix is the sparse matrix because most of the data, most of the rows and column values is the empty, right? Because all the user cannot have watched all the movies or all the items, right? So most of data is empty, and the size would be very huge for this sparse. So suppose if take Amazon or Flipkart or the Netflix, we could have the users in million, right? and we have the movies also in the thousand. So, you think how much big matrix is there and it is not going to store this much of information for the computation purpose also or the for the memory point of view also. So, what we should do? We should decompose this matrix, right? So, what we will do? We will do the matrix decomposition and that is also called the matrix factorization. What is the factorization? So, suppose you have one number 28. To compute the 28, to multiply the 28 with the bigger number, it becomes the issues. So, what we can do? We can factor it 7 into 4. So, now we got the two small number for the one bigger number. So, calculation might be easy. The same way, we are going to decompose this matrix into the two small matrix, right? And if suppose this matrix is the A, I can say this is the X and this is the Y and A matrix is equal to X, Y. What benefit is that? Benefit is that size becomes very reduced. We can, we can, what if we do? We can reduce the dimension in this way. How? So, suppose what if we do? We we have, so suppose this is the m n. So, what this size, this size will be the m into r and this y matrix would be the r into n. And we know the matrix multiplications. So, what happen, what is the criteria for the matrix multiplications? This column number should match with this row number. So, here this r must be equal to this r. Right. So, in this way we can achieve this the bigger matrix. Right. Now, if you say the size perspective, how much size is taking m into r in this is r into n. So, if you see it is taking the m plus n size, right. But here if you see is taking the this one is taking the m into r size. So, how much difference would be there? This is the m into n and this is m in m plus n. So, the size wise is very reduced and dimension is also reduced. But how it works? So, what happened? Take one example, understand purpose. Or you see, if you have the m into n, and we have to for some computation purpose, if you want to connect all the m to all the n, suppose if you have the m1, m2, m3, and you have the m100, right? And you have the user1, user2, user100. So, if you want to connect, to all the users, to all the product, you can think about how many connection would be there, right? The best solution is that you decompose it 
and in between you put some r1 factor r2 r what i am discussing here then if you see the connections you will get the rest connections so the computers might be easy from this point of view for the better understanding let me take one example the 387 then take the 5 12 and 30 so suppose i have this one and i want to decompose it it is just a small example okay so what we can do you might have uh, learned the concept uh, row space column space right in the mathematics so what you are going to do suppose this is the column 1 column 2 column 3 and column 4 and this the size is this the 3 by 4 right this matrix i want to decompose into two size 3 into 2 one matrix and another matrix 2 into 4 right so we this is 2 is there right so i will take one this column and this column for the decomposition purpose so if you see this is an easy example so we can find out by uh, looking the numbers column space if you see this the three this column is just the double of the c2 right so if you want to write the column space so suppose for the c1 for the c1 is the one multiple of the c1 and 0 is equal to c3 c2 if you see the c2 this is the double of the c1 so 2 into c1 and nothing into c3 if you see the c3 it is nothing for the c1 plus 1 into c3 if you see the c4 this number if you observe double this one plus here so 2 plus 3 5 4 plus 8 12 6 plus 7 13 so this is the 2 into c1 and plus 1 into c3 so now how to make this this is the x and this is the y so take c1 1 2 3 and this takes 3 8 7 right 3 8 7 and here take 1 2 0 2 1 2 0 2 so 1 2 0 2 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 so now if you see let me just make one eg just rearranging the number the thing is this so now if you 1 2 3 3 8 7 now we have this the two uh, sub matrix for this bigger matrix okay let me check it does it work or not so how do you do the multiplication so suppose if i want to make the result here if i multiply this is the x and this is the y if i multiply x y i should suppose to get the a right let us do it so 1 3 0 1 so it become the 1 right 1 3 here it become the 2 right 1 it become the 3 and 1 2 2 5 so we are getting the exact number right so let me just make the number here for the time saving purpose so i can say that x and y is the equal to the a and even see how many numbers are here 1 2 3 4 5 6 means this is the uh, 3 into 2 6 and 2 into 8 so total 6 plus 8 14 element but if you see here we have the 15 element so even we reduce the number of element but we are able to achieve the number this is called the matrix factorization okay so now if you notice if i have the given x and given the y how i can get it right so easy thing suppose if you want to get this number how to get this number this is take this row so take this row and take this column right now multiply this 2 into 2 this 2 into 2 
plus this 8 into 0 and you can get the 4. So, you can get the 4. It will use 4 in the uh, uh, recommendation system. So, if you understood this part because I just took one small example to explain you what is the matrix uh, factorization, but in the actual case in the real lifetime we are not going to take the small number right. So, suppose if I have the if I take the bigger number this uh, matrix has been given this is the user and this is the movie any item you can take it and we have the uh, 4 by 5 matrix right and we have to decompose this matrix. So, you can decompose in many way. So, you can decompose 4 into 2 1 matrix and 2 into 5 other matrix. Be careful this number should match. Even you can uh, put in multiple factors also 2 into 3 then uh, 3 into uh, 4 something right and then the 4 into 5. So, you can de decompose in this way also or you can decompose uh, 4 into 3 or 3 into 5 right any way we can decompose. So, suppose take the easy example this first part if you decompose in this way this 2 this 2 is called the rank and this also called the hidden feature or the latent feature. What is this actually? If you observe, this is the rating of the movie given by the each user, right? For for one to five, five to three, and these ratings depend upon the many parameter. That should be the uh, actor, director, genres. So this rank is says how many factor, how many features you have considered for this kind of ratings. So that is called the rank. If you take the two, so rank is two here. In this case, if you see rank is 3, right? So, for this example, I have taken the 2. So, when you decompose into 4 into 2, 2 into 5, so we have the 2 matrix, 4 into 2 matrix. So, if you see, this is my 4 into 2 matrix, and that is 2 into 5. If you see, this matrix is called the 2 into 5 matrix, right? Now, we have to fill the data in both matrix how you should do actually. So, first we initialize this value randomly initialize. So, suppose if you randomly initialize you can take uh, uh, suppose if I take uh, 1.2, 0 0.8 any number you initialize first 2.1, 3.1 1, ok. Now, as I discussed uh, already, so what value should be here? So, this value should be this into this plus this into this. So, 1.2 into this one plus 0.8 into this one, right. So, if you see this value how much this is the 0.72 and this is the 168, right. If you say this is the 2.1. So, it become the 2.40. In the same way, if you consider this one, it become the 3.2. But now, if you see the actual data, actual should be 4, but instead of the 4, we are getting the 2.4. So, we have to, we have to increase this number, right? This number, this 2 number or this 4 number we have to adjust. So, this number should be go up, right. Here should be that 2, but we got the 3.2. So, this combination we have to reduce, right. So, how you will do that? So, what was the first step? Step first was the initialize random number, right. Second step calculate errors. How we calculate the errors? We need the 4, but we got the 2.4, right? So, what if we do 4 minus 2 minus 4 is square, then for this case 2 minus 3.2 is square. So, you calculate the error, okay? Then 
use the lambda what is lambda lambda is called the it control the to regularization this initialization they will regulate the number so they will increase or decrease by this factor okay and then again do the same operation so again for the next iteration so actually if you see we are do, we are executing the gradient descent algorithm here to reducing the error right so if you take the many iterations use all those factors so somehow we can get the number approximate of this okay and if we get the very less error then we can confirm now this is my sub matrix for the given uh, this is the actual matrix for the a this is how we do the factor uh, vectorization okay now what is the use of this so suppose for this user u2 if i have not get this data this is empty and this is empty right and we have to recommend and we have to recommend for the u2 which movie i should recommend i should recommend the movie m2 or i should recommend movie m3 so what i will do i got this matrix we will calculate the matrix in this way and you can get the data so if our matrix is very good matrix both some matrix i will get approximate 3 here and the approximate 5 here on that basis we can recommend movie m3 to the user 2 so how are this uh, matrix factorization work so please subscribe this channel and i would recommend please visit all the videos on the recommendation system to get the more insight how the different kind of algorithms are there in the next video i am going to show hands on code on a movie recommendation use case using the spark python based thank you very much